Hello, good evening. I want, you, I want to welcome you to another episode of Shaping Your Destiny with Charismatic Impact for Christ Ministry. Ah, I'm glad to see you this evening and I pray that God will do extremely something great for you. I pray that the package that God has for you will be delivered to you by the end of my broadcast. I'm Reverend Eric McWilliams and I am here to be a blessing to you. Uh, I hope you are ready and I hope you have called someone to let them know that there is something powerful on the screen and God is speaking through this man of God to be a blessing to you. I hope you are ready for something incredible in the name of Jesus. Well, let's close our eyes so we can start today off in prayer and then move on to what God has for us today. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray, my God, that tonight you will reveal your word in an incredible way. Release your word in power to reach the one that is trusting you for a miracle. Break loose the heavens, break loose limitations, and release miracles to your beloved people in the mighty name of Jesus. We declare this a blessed day in the holy name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Amen. Dearly beloved, I've got some great news for you, and uh, I want you to take notice of this. Get yourself a pen, and my telephone numbers are out on the screen. Please make sure you do call us, and then put, uh, my assistants will be ready to help you get everything that you need done. I will be calling everyone that calls me right after this broadcast. I will come out and call you, and we can deal with it. Whatever issue you have, we will pray and trust God for a miracle for you. I believe that you are in the right time and the right season for miracles to break loose in your life. So get ready. But I want you to take these dates down. The Friday, the 28th of February to the 1st of March. Friday, the 28th of February to the 1st of March. God is speaking to me and instructing me to put a meeting together because God wants to help some of you and help you come out of the situations that you're in. God wants to break the limitations that the enemy has set over your life. And God said, I should put this meeting together. I've entitled it Divine Freedom. Divine Freedom is coming in, uh, in February the 28th, the 28th of February, to the 1st of March. That is a Friday and a Saturday. A two-day power-packed uh, meeting that we, we're trusting that God will come down and bring deliverance. God will come down and bring healing. So I want you to be there. Divine freedom. You've got to be there. This is a meeting that your name is up on there. If you want to move into the things that God has for you, if you want to move into the freedoms set out for you, if you want to move into the blessings of God, if you're tired of the repetitive circle of problems that seems not to go, the same uh, problems coming in again and again and again, then this is the meeting for you. If you want to see a different a new year for you if you want to experience 2014 because I believe this is a great year then you ought to be in this meeting divine freedom and over the course of the week we're going to still be announcing that when you call my the telephone numbers the assistants will be talking to you about this meeting it's a really power packed meeting and the Holy Spirit will be there to bring deliverances bring healing so if you need healing if you need deliverance if you got problems that need the touch of God this is the meeting that you be you gotta be under and then we'll trust God that God will do something awesome for you hallelujah well we have been dealing with for some few uh, weeks about the altar services we have been uh, dealing with the things behind the altar we, we are we have been dealing with problems that the altar causes in families. I'm going to continue today with uh, behind the scenes part two because I want to be able to bring out what is behind the scenes of every altar so that you will know that it is not by chance that those things are happening. They are happening because there is a spirit behind it. Listen, child of God, the truth of the matter is that 
with every family, there are some principalities and powers that are in charge. What I mean is that things that go on on planet Earth are recorded. Things that go on on planet Earth are things that are in the supernatural. There are cases or things that go on in the supernatural that affects planet Earth or affects our planet. And I want you to understand that not everything that, you, that appears or not everything that your naked eyes can see. There are some things that the naked eye cannot see. There are some things that are unexplainable. I mean, you, you, you can't really put words to it. You can't explain why. You could be doing everything right, yet things are going wrong. That you must be able to deal with the things that are going wrong. If you want to move from one level to the other, you must be ready to say to yourself that whatever is holding me back, I want to break free from whatever is holding me back in order for me to go into what God has for me or into my future. The future is a great promise, but you got to take the future by force. It will not just come just by wishing. You've got to take the future by force. And so in our Preaching for so far and in our messages so far, we've been dealing with Gideon. Now, we started with Gideon having a dream. He had, he had some sensations and knew that there was something about him. He knew he was a deliverer, but yet a deliverer that is hiding from the enemy. He knew he was a conqueror, but he's hiding from the enemies he's supposed to conquer. It seems like there is a problem in this situation because he is hiding instead of winning the battles. Is because the enemy has, got, has been successful in making Gideon hide than to come up front and fight the battle. Then we went on to see that God sends an angel to Gideon to help Gideon. I'm telling you that child of God, whenever God wants to help you, he will send a messenger to you to come and help you so that you, he will bring you out of where you are and take you into where you want to go to. There is no f deliverance without there being a deliverer that will bring the message of deliverance to the one that needs deliverance to enter into their place of deliverance. Are you listening to me? So if you want to experience deliverance, you need a deliverance. The deliverer. If you want to experience healing, you need the healer to come, bring in the healing, and usher you into the healing. Otherwise, you will just stay in the same place. So the angel of God comes in and speaks to Gideon and reveals to Gideon who he is. Sometimes you need your, uh, someone to reveal to you the mind of God concerning you. I'm not just talking about revealing your name. That one, you know that already. I'm talking about revealing what God has for you, how to move forward, how to break out of the situations that have surrounded you, how to come out of what the enemy has done, how to to break free from the powers of the altars, how to move into the next level. And so you need such revelations. And, and the revelation that is revealed to you, it is that the power of that revelation you can walk into. So if no revelation is revealed to you, you can't walk in any power. So the angel of God comes in and reveals to him that this is who you are. You are a mighty man of valor. He is so grateful and he, he thanks God that God will visit him in such a way. He brings an offering to God and as he gave an offering to God, now God revealed to Gideon the, the reason why he had not, never been able to move into his true calling. And it was because of the altars in his father's house. Now last week I said to you that with every altar there is a spirit behind it. Paul says it in 1 Corinthians chapter number 10. 
that the altars that the Gentiles or the images that the Gentiles erected up and serve uh, graven images, wooden images, all images, images made by man's hand, images of trees and everything, or animal images, all of those images, there, are, there is a spirit behind it. He said there's demons behind it. In other words, demons are behind those images in order to help the individual that comes to them. Yet when these demons do help you, they hold you in, in covenant, bound to themselves. So they will help you, but you will be bound to, coven, to a covenant. And many people have been helped by so-called uh, medicine doctors, uh, so uh, Many people have been helped by uh, uh, voodoo, uh, um, witchcraft. Many, many things have happened, and, and they helped you. And once they helped you, you thought, well, I've gone scot-free. It's all right with me. But child of God, it is not all right with you. You just struck a covenant between yourself and the dark side, and one day it will catch up to you. And many of you have had things now appearing in your life, and while you should be going, forward it looks like you're going back it's because of the altars and now they are making a demand from you they're making a withdrawal from your life and you want to go forward but you can't go forward this is the very thing that is happening to Gideon he just can't go forward until those altars are destroyed but those are physical altars that needs to be destroyed. What about the spirit behind it because spirits don't die so what do we do with them hallelujah and so here we see that Gideon is instructed by God to break his father's altars. In other words, you must be able to break the, the altar or the covenant that you went to, the, the image that you went to. You must be able to, some of you are in a place where you can't travel back to the image and go and break down the image. It's not about that. It's about the covenant made between you and the demon that was behind the image to the witch doctor, to the Obia man, to the one that helped you, to the one that took you to some strange place in the bush, some strange place, place and, and said, you, when you went there, they said, you must do this, do this, and do that, and you will have your freedom. And you did whatever. They told you to bring this, bring this. Whatever they told you to bring, you brought it. And then when you left, you had your freedom. But what you didn't know was you signed yourself to bondage. And some of you are suffering in that bondage right now. But the mercies of God is coming to you one more time to break you out of the bondage that the enemy has set over you. If you don't break out of the bondage, child of God, dearly beloved, it will move over to your children and your children will pay the price of what the mistake you, you did. Many of the times, the children will pay the, uh, the price of the mistake of what their fathers did. Some of us, our parents went into strange things and those strange things are fighting the children today. And it, it, it doesn't matter what you want, you're trying to get yourself out of it, but you know that there are powers and strange spirits that are fighting some of us. And we must free ourselves from that. And I believe that God in seasons anoints his servants in order for them to come and bring deliverance to those. So I want you to make sure that you call the numbers that are on the screen. My assistants will help you. They will also help you, give you details about the program that are coming up so that we can be a blessing to you. Divine Freedom, February, Friday, February the 28th to the 1st of March this year. I want to see you there. I want you to come to this meeting if you want to break loose and you want to see some freedom in your life. You want to see that I can now move forward. Shout hallelujah and glory be to God because this is your time. This year should not be like not last year. It should not be a repeat of the last five years. You cannot afford it because you're getting older. You need some freedom. So make sure that this meeting, whatever you do, you will be be at this meeting and God will bless you. Now Gideon moves forward to destroy the altars. The moment he destroys the altars, the altar protectors come after him. Hear me, child of God, 
Every altar in the family, every altar that is in your father's house, in your mother's house, whatever altar you subscribe to, the things you went to get in the bush, the things they gave to you, the ring they gave you, the, the bangle they gave you to put on your hand, and all those things, the stone they gave you to keep in your house, and all those images that they gave you, they said to you, put this image in your house. All those things were points of covenant between you and the demon, and now the demon is after you, and you don't know how to get get free from it, but the glory of God will come and free you in the mighty name of Jesus. So the altar protectors came up and said, we want to sacrifice Gideon because he has broken the altar. And so Gideon's father stood up and said, let the God of the altar, which is Baal, fight for himself. Many of the times, the demon cannot do nothing. The truth of the matter is they can't do nothing. Once you break loose and once you destroy the covenant between you and them, it is over. Your freedom has started and you can walk into the freedom. But you need to know how to do that. And I will show you. This meeting is designed for us to deal with those things and there are steps we must take in order to break ourselves free from that. I want to see you free. I want to see you walk in freedom. I want to see you blessed in the mighty name of Jesus. I want to see you enter the dreams that you've been wanting to. I want to see you complete your education. Some of you are repeating. You're trying to complete your education, but it's not happening. When we break this altar and deal with the spirit behind, you will be uh, amazed that you'll be able to do and complete your assignment. There are some of you, you're trying to have a baby, to have, have a child, and you have been barren for years and nothing is working. But the moment we deal with this issue or the problem behind it, you will be free and you will have the child that you're looking for. Some of you, because of the altar, you are uh, in sickness. There's a sickness that came upon you. Don't worry. When we deal with this issue, the sickness will vanish from your life because the sickness is as the point of the altar. Some of you people, members in your family are dying strangely and each year people are dying and it looks like it's about your turn now. But if we deal with this problem, it will skip you uh, in the name of Jesus and you will live and do the, the works of the Lord. I want to help you. Gideon destroyed the altar and the altar the altar protectors came up and said we want to sacrifice Gideon. And they were not able to. Child of God, but before Gideon destroyed the altars, he destroyed it and built a new altar. Now the new altar that he built was the altar that God said to do. So it was the altar of God. So what Gideon did was he destroyed the altars that gave link and gave the rule for the principality for the demon to be in the house to control the members of the house. And then he built a new altar unto God. And when he built a new altar, it meant that the covenant is broken. Now he has a covenant with God. Many of you will need to build new altars, and I'm here to teach you how you will do that. You need to break down some of those altars that are ruling and controlling the family, controlling family history, controlling the things that are going on in the family, making people repeat the evil patterns in the family, making people shackled and, and, bound, and bound because we, you cannot move forward because of the principality that is ruling. It's making sure that poverty will be in the family. It's making sure that sicknesses will be in the family. It's making sure that barrenness will be in the family. Unsuccess will be in the family. That thing must be broken in the name of Jesus of your family, of your father's house and of your mother's house. You must be able to walk in the freedom of Jesus Christ. The Bible says, whom the Son of God sets free is free indeed. You must be able to walk in the freedom of Jesus Christ. Jesus set us free by giving us salvation 
So by salvation, you are set free and it is okay with you. But prosperity on the earth is another thing entirely. It's a different matter. So you are free here on earth, meaning that if you die today, God bless you, you are going to a better place. But that is not the, the freedom that you just need. You also need freedom on this earth to prosper. And in order for you to prosper like that, you need to be able to break what is standing in the way of your prosperity. What is standing in the way for you to move on in life. And for some of you, Jesus wants to set you free so that you can move into your divine assignment. You have been waiting too long and the years have been piling up on you. Have you not noticed you are not able to marry? Have you not noticed that every man that comes seems to repeat what the other man did? Have you noticed that this is your first marriage? It went down. Second marriage went down. The third marriage also went down. And now it looks like you may be finding someone else and you're wondering what will happen. If you're not able to deal with this situation, that marriage will also be destroyed. But if we can join together, child of God, you join together, we will deal with the enemy and set you free. Because I believe that this is the year that the people of God must enjoy freedom must enjoy the blessings. You must see the prophecies of God. You must come into realization that the God that promised you, the God that said something concerning you, he is a faithful God and he wants to do something for you. In the mighty name of Jesus the Christ. Hallelujah. So the altars will be destroyed and he built a new altar for Jesus. And, and once it, the altars were built, it gave God room to come into the family and to allow uh, Gideon to move into his purpose. That made Gideon now to move into his purpose. And now before you know, he blows the trumpet and his helpers gather together and they said, we want to help you. Amazingly, 30,000 people, strong people, were with him. But while he, the altar was in the family, nobody came around him. It means that there are some people that God has assigned to help you in your life, but unless the principality is removed, unless the altars that are standing in the way are broken, the helpers will not help you. There are some of you, the moment someone wants to help you, it's as though they look at you and turn away from you. It's as though uh, something is written on your face saying, saying don't help me, you know. It, 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 you could be begging and, and crying and they will just look at you and still turn around from you and you're wondering why? Why is this like that? It's because there is the spirit in the house that is saying that I'm in charge and this person shouldn't be helped. But that spirit is a liar. So is the devil. So is his mother-in-law. We are going to break you free in the mighty name of Jesus so you can go about and experience the goodness of the Lord. God God will bless you and he would not tag you for it. He will bless you and he will not subtract from you. The Bible said the blessings of the Lord will come upon your life and bring freedom to you in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Child of God, my time is almost up and I have to run up from the studio, but I want you to make sure you call the telephone numbers that are there. I want to speak to you. I want to pray for you. I want to trust God that we will enter into this year properly, and I want to see you testify. I want you to write me and tell me that, Pastor, we, we prayed, you prayed for me, we, we did so and so, and the blessings of God has now come upon my life. That is what I want to do for you. But I also want to remind you concerning the meetings that are coming up, that you must be in this meeting. Your name is on it. If God is putting it in my heart, it means that there are some of you out there that God is going to put the meeting in your heart and tell you to get to that place. So make sure you call the telephone numbers that are there. Divine freedom will be yours. If you want it, come and get it. And I, trust, I, I believe that God will break you loose and break out on you and let you move into freedom. Your children will be free. They will not join the gang. The, no, it cannot happen. That child must be free. I know what we must do. And God has empowered me to bring freedom. Hey, I am the angel of God to you. And it will be all right. If we can trust God, 
it will be well. We're going to deal with this thing in the mighty name of Jesus. So make sure you're calling because we, I want to pray for you. I want to hear your voice. So for those of you who want to pay us a visit, we are in Woolwich. All those people in Deptford, in Lewisham, in Sydenham, Grove Park, Eltham, hey, uh, Shooters Hill, we are in Woolwich. There's no place, it's not too far. Uh, just come down. The address is on the screen. Just come down and come and see what God is doing in Charismatic Impact for Christ. We will pray for you, minister with you, and see that God will bless you. You are marked for a blessing. Child of God, your life will never be the same again. Let me pray quickly for you and then I'll be out of here. Father, bless the one that is uh, watching me. Uh, move in their life. Liberate them from the, uh, from the works of the enemy. Break them free from the attacks of the enemy. In the mighty name of Jesus, I speak divine release into somebody's life that is watching me right now in the name of Jesus. I break the chains of the enemy. I speak healing to your bodies in the mighty name of Jesus. I decree wholeness to visit you right now in the name of Jesus. You, child of God, must be free. You must be free. I demand your freedom in the name of Jesus Christ. Right now, in Jesus' name, receive it in the name of Jesus. And I want you to shout, I receive it. Make sure you call us. The telephone numbers are there so that I will speak to you right after I finish broadcasting. I will be there to speak with you and I will be answering whatever questions you have and pray for whatever issues you want us to pray for. But make sure divine freedom, you are there. 28th of February to the 1st of March. It is me and you. We're going to deal with it in Jesus' name. Love you so much. I'll be here next week. The same time, Monday.